Hello everyone, it is Joe here from OmniPoke, the channel that brings you guys everything Pokemon. If you're looking for PTCGO codes, including the stuff from Fusion Strike, make sure you go ahead and check out the Potown store. You can get a 5% discount on your order using that code OmniPoke. Happy New Year everyone, uh, it's been a while. We've had a nice little Christmas and New Year break, myself and Jack. Uh, but we're going to be back on the content train. Now, we are sort of wrapping up the uh, the format right now, up to Fusion Strike, and we are sort of waiting in the wings for the new set stuff to come out. And rather than just talk at you guys about a list that you probably already know everything about, uh, with like one or two card changes, uh, we're going to challenge ourselves today with some interesting uh, deck building. I posted a question on Twitter just saying, you know what, I'd like to just start doing some challenges for some interesting content. I always like to think that now, you know, late on in the stages of the format, it's a good time to do the sort of fun experimental stuff rather than focus on the competitive where those uh, sort of stones have already been uncovered and we know what's what. Uh, so instead, I'm going to give myself a deck restriction here and uh, had some really good responses to this, by the way, and I will be keeping note of these. If you guys find this video interesting, we'll do it again uh, very soon. Um, because there's not much else for me to be doing that I think is worthwhile uh, right now in terms of making competitive videos. I think pretty much everything is discovered uh, for this format at the very least. Um, so just sort of biding our time really until the new set stuff comes our way that we can really get into the testing all over again. Um, but I really love uh, deck restrictions and uh, have always found joy from, you know, GLC format, cube format, uh, restricted uh, building in all sorts of other ways. I've done the Dragon Shield challenge format as well. So um, yeah, I think this is always something that I want to sort of turn my eye to because I like being creative and coming up with solutions to problems that you didn't know existed, if that makes sense. So I picked out um, an interesting restriction today from Tubbs, a friend of mine, and it's the one at the bottom here. All Pokemon cards have to start <laughs> with the letter J, O, or E. Uh, so that should theoretically restrict my uh, a card pool straight away uh, and interestingly Inteleon uh, doesn't fit within these letters so straight away I'm not able to play <laughs> the Inteleon engine I'm not able to use Genesect either so uh, drawing cards is going to be pretty tough uh, Crobat isn't in here either uh, what a terrible name I've got um, so yeah, we'll see how the restriction goes. Uh, I haven't done any prep for this, so <laughs> we're going to jump onto PCGO, type in the letter J, and, <laughs> and see what I have access to uh, in standard. Let's make sure this is standard. Um, oh, okay. Uh, nice. We So I could draw cards of Jirachi, which is good. And Jolteon is actually a really playable card. Okay, maybe I've got lucky right now. Jolteon seems good. So what makes Jolteon good? The Inteleon engine makes Jolteon pretty good. Because you need quick shooting. How do I set up Thunder Rumble? Ugh, God. Okay, uh, maybe just a... If this is just a hundred to the face, maybe it's not that good. <laughs> maybe I'm attacking with Pin Missile. Oh, no. Uh, Jumpluff is something to think about. I can't use Skip Bloom or Hopip though, so that doesn't work. Jellicent Frillish? No, that doesn't work. So Jolteon, you know, the regular V begins with J and this has a J in it, so that's something. Um, maybe Jinx is the draw engine that we're after. Okay, so Jolteon seems, <laughs> seems promising. Where can we go from here? Okay, or Beetle. Okay, I mean, All Beetle's good, right? All Beetle sets up Jolteon very nicely, actually. Eerie Beam uh, is the setup that Jolteon VMAX needs for the spread. Okay, okay. <laughs> I guess that's presented to us straight away. Would I play Octillery? I can't because of Remoraid. Probably playing a Rangaroo, just a Wisdom card to the top of my deck to protect me against Marnie because I won't have much draw power. So just having a Guru... And to be a one prize dude may be interesting. So, how do I get Or Beetle and Jolteons into play without a draw engine? Hmm, tricky. Uh, but yeah, again, limited. Not much. Not much else. We need some help with the last letter. Uh, to actually make a good deck here. E V V Max. The coin flips embrace the flips. 
This draws cards. Um, can't use these because of Gossifleur. I guess I'm just playing Elder Goss V to recover supporter cards. I guess I could play like Cheryl and Boss in low counts and actually try and get those back. Elector Via is valid because we have Buzz. Um, so I could try and hit for 190. Pretty expensive though. There's no energy acceleration, is there? Oh, I guess there's. No, I can't because of Volt Orb. Um, Empoleon V. So I have Octi No, I don't have Octillery because of. Um, that thing. Okay. Um, or Eternatus with basically no other dark Pokemon. <laughs> so I could be doing a 30 damage. Well, I have Ekans. Eternatus with Ekans and <laughs> basically no draw. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's my O's? Get back here. <laughs> okay. Eterna Ekans. Hmm. Is it playable? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 2, 10, 2, 40 is my maximum, and any time anything gets knocked out, we just <laughs> we just have to recover our dude. Uh, I guess I'll try and build Jolteon or Beetle, I guess. Uh, mostly because I think it's probably going to be more interesting. And I can see us having a win condition, rather than just being um, a... Let's just go for four ofs. <laughs> we have no draw. <laughs> let's let's bling out the Orbeetle so they know that we're intentionally playing this archetype. Let's try something like that. I only ever really want to get one Orbeetle in to play it right. Or maybe two at most. An Eldegoss. We have to max rarity so that they know that we're intentionally doing this. Uh, I guess I'll put a Wisdom in for now, see how that goes. We'll do it just for the Pokemon, I can't be bothered with the other stuff. So at least I have Speed Lightning. I guess I probably need Capture. And man, because I can't draw cards, I'm gonna, this is going to be theme deck-like. We're going to have to play like five Lightning Energy, at least four. We have our badges. Man, just playing without <laughs> any draw power. It's going to feel bad. So let's get our supporters in. I I guess we want researchers. We probably want Birdkeeper because of Orbeetle. And from the old Orbeetle days, you always wanted to Birdkeeper. I guess we're putting Marnies in. But do I trust Marnie? Do I trust five cards from myself? Won't I just Brick? Maybe Zinnia. <laughs> I'm crying. Uh, and let's get a boss. Uh, we'll try two for now. Probably need more, though. I'll probably add ropes. And let's try Cheryl. Uh, let's go rope and switch. Probably want a lot of ropes, just in case I don't get Orbeetle out by turn two. And I, like, Jolteon hit the active, then rope it back to the bench. Right, that that's... I can very much see me hitting a hundred with my first Jolteon in the active. What's my first attack do? Oh yeah, Thunder Spear is really good actually. Do I play Auroras just so I can strafe turn one and have a target to rope off of? What does the Grass Energy do in terms of typing? It helps out against um, Umbreon, I guess. That's about it. I'm thinking Aurora may be worth it just so I can try and do some shenanigans and sit in the active, but probably not. We just have to really hope we start our Jolteon and Thunder Spear. Or if we go second, we can retreat into an Orbeetle, then have a switch out immediately and find double VMAX somehow. Uh, so let's get the search in. These are obviously super important. Okay, so I'm already over on cards, which makes me nervous because I wanted more search. Uh, so let's have a quick... I definitely want Mountain, I think. What have I done wrong? Oh, uh, yeah, I put Thunder Mountain, not Stormy. Uh, because we need to bounce Path so I can actually Orbital stuff. 
Uh, and these sound good. Do I would I prefer Turfield? Or just get the I just want to get Jolton into play, especially because of capture energy. Okay, let's let's cut a cap. Don't think I can cut any of these. Maybe cut a rope. What am I guruing to protect? I guess I protect like yeah, I don't really know. It's kind of nice having a one prize just to shove in the active when I'm bricking, though. Maybe he's a cut. Is Zinnia just a meme? Look at the Eldegoss value. Six different targets? I definitely like Eldegoss. Maybe we just go one Zinnia? I probably want a bird keeper like a good amount, don't I? Uh... I don't ever want to cut a Jolteon. I think it's too risky, right? And I need to incense for all Beetle anyway. A lot of the time turn two. So just having a fourth Jolteon means I can actually spend my incenses on all Beetles. Maybe Zinnia's just the meme. What do I actually want to discard? I guess I just discard extra all Beetle pieces, extra Jolteon pieces. Not too many targets I actually want to discard. Everything's too important. Everything's too broken. Maybe we just trust the Marnie. Maybe Marnie just cheeses us games. Uh, so we'll call this Joe, I guess. Um, coming to a format near you. Sure, the, the Bidoof box can work. Let's, let's go for that. Uh, yeah. So, um... The challenge is, can we win a game? How many lifelines should we give us? <laughs> I guess I'll give myself one attempt with a loss, and then we just have to win a game, and then we're out of here, I guess. If we win, we assert our dominance. I guess if I win in the first like opening turns, we'll play an extra game. We'll see. We've spent 12 minutes coming up with a deck. Perfectly thought out. Not a chance this goes wrong. Just try and hit a Suicune, I guess. Oh, the secret's out. He knows what we're playing. Look at this artwork, man. Insane. Uh-oh. They... They know me. They know the content. They know this list was built for the content. Okay, good start. We have Jolteon, Capture, and Orbeetle. This is this is broken. We have Birdkeeper for turn two. This is everything we ever wanted. This is perfect, actually. No. Okay, so we, we play the three stadiums to, to counter. This is fine. More Sobbles. I probably want a Thunderspear turn one. So I'd probably just make a second Jolteon. I guess this is Suicune, right? Are we just going to win straight away? Just crack the knuckles and win? Okay, Mirror. How bad is Mirror? So I played double Cheryl and Eldegoss. So maybe Mirror's favored? Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe... I mean, with double Cheryl, we're, we're probably unironically favoured. Yo, this hand isn't even bad. Do I split my threats? I guess I do this. Next turn, I retreat into Orbeetle. No, I don't. I Bird Keeper first. I'm holding Switch anyway, so I would just switch between these guys. And hope to find double incense and stadium. There's actually a lot that I need to get the full value, but I'm gonna I'm gonna thunder spit anyway. Uh, so the question is, I guess I am always spearing the the sobble right, even though he can scoop up net to remove it. Uh, this is gonna come active anyway, right? So I'm kind of worried about holding everything just because of path. So I guess I'll sorry just because of Marnie. So I guess we'll do this. Maybe not even a bad matchup. You never know. 
We have five draws off of Speed Lightning Birdkeeper to hit Stadium and two Evolutions. It's a lot. It's a lot. So we see him evolve the bench. He gets the zig on to our Jolteon. See the incense, he might just be Drizzle dancing, or he might just get his VMAX here. We'll see. But all things considered, we had a pretty good turn one. Turn two is looking pretty strong. I mean, realistically, I only need to find a jolty on VMAX, right? For us to have a good turn. If he scoop up nets the bench drizzle, I'm a bit sad, but we'll see. Okay, so he has double drizz straight away. Maybe he has to net the active, though. That would be good for me. Or maybe he just goes for a research. I think he discarded research with quick ball, right? Yeah. Yep, so we are going to see a net. Hopefully it's net active. Yep. And it's going to be that Marnie. Be kind to us, deck. What am I saying? We built this perfectly. Okay. Okay. Nice. Alright, so he gets the first rumble off on us, but I can deal with the Drizz. I don't have to get a VMAX. Sorry, an Orbital VMAX. And like I say, we have we we have two Cheryls. Oh man. Why do I say that as soon as I draw one? And Eldegoss in hand. My advantage is gone. Ah. Shucks. That's bad. Okay, we'll bin one of these. We'll do this. We'll get a fresh hand. Okay, thank goodness we drew VMAX. Multiple. Do I like evolving both? Yeah, I kind of have to, right? We're committed down this line now. So he's committing to just dealing with both Jolteon. Uh, what are we committed to? Any other play? Not really. But we take the prize. We have Speed Lightning for next turn. We have the switch out, so I just need to find an Orbital. VMAX. Let's see where our opponents got off of the Marnie. What they're working with. No pressure that we kind of just lose next turn. Not a problem. We can we can deal with this. Maybe I need a second Elder Goss. I mean, just drawing the Cheryl was so unlucky, right? <laughs> Actually tilted. Okay. So we see his next Jolteon. Does he just go Marnie again? Man, evolving the second VMAX was kind of dumb, huh? I was so panicking about my deck just bricking. But realistic, realistically, I should just let him have the five prize turn and build a new Jolteon. But you see an Eldegoss Cheryl already, so it's the confidence. We just have to swag out the confidence right now that we can draw our next Cheryl. Which we can't. At all. Um, so, good. Now we have to dodge boss. I guess. Nothing that we can do here. 
that feel when you don't have Cheryl. There's no way he has boss here. Impossible. Ignore the fact that we still don't have our Cheryl as well. Irrelevant. Finn for exactly the one card in our deck that helps us. <laughs> Never boss. This is actually not even the deck's fault. This is my fault for evolving two VMAXs like an idiot. Hate to see it. He can just get anything he wants with these Drizziles. I should be playing those. Never prized. Alright, we go again. Do I need to make any changes? I think that was mostly my fault. <laughs> mostly my fault. We actually started reasonably. So, he goes here, here. Takes two prizes. Is there... I have another Jolteon. This would be at 200, but I wouldn't have been able to hit the bench. I think I was still losing that game. Man, the, the Cheryl draw just... Sag. So Sag. We go again. We, we move past it. That's our one L out of the way. So now, if I lose a second time, it's a failure. Challenge one, failure. We win challenge one, great success. Or do I have to win two out of three? What do you think? How hard should I be on these challenges? Surely it's hard enough just winning a game with these decks. <laughs> I guess it depends on how difficult the challenges are. But my deck is pretty bad. I'll be the first to admit that. All right, come on, Jolteon start, please. Oh, panic. This hand was cracked as well. We had it all. No, 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 no. Oh, clutch. Clutch Jolteon coming in. Snom? It's a win. It's a first. This hand is broken. Right. Say nothing. Just take our time. Pass. Chill. He'll never know. He'll never see this. What is this? Intel? Intel VMAX? Sobble. Okay. Nothing scary just yet. Big whale! Oh boy. Plays the big whale. It's going to get fully set up. You can keep calling, make some chaps. Broken turn, honestly. Okay. How about our turn? I wanted to do the speed lightning energy second because it meant if I hit a switch out, I could commit the second incense pre bird keeper. But as it stands, we can't. Yo, his board is just locked. Do I just. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> do I just. Nah, he, play he plays nets, right? Come on. <laughs> It's not that stupid, right? I can't say no to a two prize turn. I do like that that I did a hold up wait a minute though. That's always good to just think about stuff, you know. Yeah, we could get the triple orbi. The value is insane. Okay. 
Uh, do I care more about the snoms? I guess I should always be threatening the the snoms, right? Uh, our one panic is if he Warelord 360s us. Literally Warelord 360. 360 no scopes our Jolteon, then we'll be very sad. Um, otherwise, good turn. They can go Glimwood, Bucket, Bucket, Whale, Frostmoth, rain them all down. Uh-oh. Even scarier. A Kyogre. We're sat with a lot of bench prizes for him. If he wants to just target the ore beetles. Where's our Cheryl's? Cheryl actually busted in our deck. So if a Kogo does like 50x to two bench Pokemon, right? For how many were revealed from top five of your deck? Something like this. Top five, two Pokemon, 50 for each energy discarded. Okay. Of course, of course. What's this week two? Lightning. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Gonna see the, the Moth getting these rolling. Netting active. Now, does he deal for Bucket, or does he deal for another Snom? Level Ball Snom. Okay. Well, I guess, get the Drizzile out just to uh, improve your top, your top of your deck. More Water Energy. Big Brain. Okay, he's played so many trainers. I'm actually going to be griefed right now if he does the 250-250. I will be angry. Just a hundred, hundred? Hundred, hundred. Okay. No Cheryl... Uh, I guess we're going to be laser beaming some stuff. Ribbon badge. Oh, man. I guess I'm most afraid of uh, the Inteleon getting too much value, right? Yeah, I guess that's what I'm most afraid of. We know he's got Big Shady in hand. Alright, let's see the Big Shady. I guess if he has any more energy recyclers, now is a time. Just to improve the top decks. Yeah, Net Recycler. He has 15 cards remaining in deck. How many more do you think he can filter out of his deck? Trainer-wise. 
to actually just body us. It's literally down to this, right? <laughs> he needs the full five. The full suite of five. He has 13 cards left in deck after this level ball. And he's recycling four waters back in. I feel like we have good odds, but I don't know his deck well enough to be sure. Okay, we're alive. <laughs> Monka. <laughs> okay, get out of here. Well, it, it's one apiece. We faced a meme hotter than our own. Uh, so let's get one more game, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Actually terrifying. I'm evolving too many things into VMAXs. But then again, by the t I evolved Double O Beetle before I saw Kyogre, right? I, I only saw the whale. Who could have guessed? Alright, we get to go first again. Recipe for a win right here. Jolteon start? Oh, this deck is clockwork. Absolute clockwork. Uh oh. It's a Mew. Yikes. We're really gonna have to pull out all the stops here, boys. He likes my deck. I guess he's happy that I played a Stormy Mountains rather than a. Uh, than a path. I guess that's what he was reacting to, right? Okay, so he has the mellow straight away. Obviously, we're pretty terrified of the classic attach fusion energy. Um, sparkle turn. Okay, sparkle straight away and then panic genesect draw. Thanks to the cram tails. You love to see it, boys. You love to see it. Uh, now then. It's still a lot for us to actually hit him. <laughs> Am I even meant to Marnie? Oh, God. Yeah, I guess I am. My Orbital actually does nothing right now. Um, I can't, man, I wish I could Thunder Spear. No energy. I guess I pass with Orbital active because Jolteon active is not something I want. I guess we just do this. I know it does nothing. I just want this to be the sponge. Sparkling again, Monka. Don't kill me. Okay, nice. All right, there's energy. We can beam and actually do something now, which is kind of cool. He's already played two tablets. Let's switch here and research. So I can make the snipe play. If he finds a switch out, he only needs switch plus one tablet to bop us. Um, but I have to just try and tempo him out, right? This, is, this just has to be the way. I have such little draw if he actually kills me next turn, though. It's literally all off of the speed lightning. I'll play this now because he's basically never hand disrupting me, right? Right. 
I guess I just have to cash in on the fact that his hand is bad and just say, whoops. Would have been great if I could have targeted this lovely Meloetta, but we can't. Okay, no switches, no tablets. One time. The deck that draws a million cards, please. Just whiff. Is that so hard? Crumbs. Well, we need this speed lightning to get us to, into exactly badge or research, I guess. Elemental Sag. Otherwise, the Meloetta is just killing us outright. Okay. Made himself a nice Mew. Is he a boss? I'm in da- why? That just helps me. Why would he not cram for the switch first? Yeah, okay, wow. Um, well, technically a success. This deck beats Mu VMAX, new title. It's a working title. Um, so, <laughs> so that's our first challenge video. Uh, let me know what I can do with the series. Um, I think building the deck in front of you is going to be easy enough for some where, like in this instance, we had a really limited card pool. In others, it may take a lot longer for me to actually create the deck and come up with the idea. Um, so we'll see how that sort of goes. I've been thinking of adding in like forfeit if I lose slash some sort of reward if I win, but I don't really know what to do with all that stuff. So this is all very off the cuff, harebrained scheme. I've been away for two weeks recording and I just wanted to throw something out there to let you know that I'm still alive and playing the game of Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, that's the Joe deck, Jolteon, Orbital, Eldegoss, taking two wins against two extremely competitive and drawing perfectly decks, not a problem. Um, and me throwing against the actual Jolteon deck. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this bit of fun um, while we wait for real competitive stuff to get back in the swing of things. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today. Honestly, tell me guys your thoughts down below. And if you have any other great ideas for challenges in terms of deck building uh, that I can do in future, pop it there as well. Cheers, guys. See you tomorrow.